welcome to ANSYS Workbench tutorial on how to use and how to work with with object generator. Uh, today's tutorial is going to be about is going to consist of two plates which are separated by 45 millimeters and each plate con contains 12 holes which are to be connected using beam connections. Instead of creating 12 individual beams, we'll create a single beam and then use object generator, the mechanical, to create the remainder. remainder. After then, we will perform a very quick uh, an, uh, analysis on finding out a, um, axial forces acting on each of the beams. So uh, I've just imported the geometry that I had uh, prepared for this, and I'm going I'm going straight to the model section. So in the model, as you can see here, in a moment, um, we, we there we are. We have uh, we have two plates, <coughs> and uh, and we have twelve holes on each on each of them. So first things first, um, what you want to do in using object uh, generator, you want to have named named surfaces, named sections. So for this, I want to choose, I want to create a two different name sections, one for top plate and the second one for the bottom plate. So I'm, I'm, uh, I'm highlighting one of the whole surface, and then I am creating a name section. I will call this by looking at my actually um, yeah according to geometry coordinate system. So I'm meaning this as a top hole and I want to apply this I want to put a uh, different geometry more holes into this. So I'm applying geometry items of the same size. So now what it did is that, as you can see here, let's go back. It actually applied to all the holes in our in our part, and we want only the top hole. So we go into worksheet, and we want to add a row, which would remove holes on z direction, which are less than zero. Basically, what it does is that everything that is less than zero is removed. As you can check the coordinate system, less than zero, right here. Everything is below this point, removed. So when, when that's done, as you can, let's check this again. So we now have our top holes. We want to do the same thing, but with bottom ones as well. So I'm going to do exactly the same thing you can see here. Now, it, in reality, this will mark the upper hole as well. So I want to add, again, on Z direction, everything that is greater than zero. What it will do is that it will actually remove the upper holes. Right? So when I mark this, everything that is good, I mark the, the bottom ones, everything that is greater than zero at this point is actually removed. Right, so when, when that's done, um, let's go into connections. Since we are creating a connection between two plates, we want to mark, want to highlight our two adjacent holes to one another in order to create a beam. So there we are, these two rows are in the same axis. And I want to go to right-click button on one of the surfaces and go insert a beam. So there we are, we have created a, a beam between the holes. And now we have to assign the radius. In our case, that's going to be 2 millimeters. And we click OK. So there we are, we have our first beam. Now, what you don't want to do is you don't want to create another 20 Another 11 or so beams for e individually for each of these between e each of these holes. So uh, what we want to do is we want to highlight 
the beam and then go for right here and go for this view object generator in this series. This red dot would go to yellow dots. Um, so you see I have selected three item which is circular bottom plate to top plate and I'm I want to make a reference side which is going to be it doesn't really matter uh, which, which you want to choose but I'll go with the top one and I'll make a mobile mobile side is the bottom one so basically it, it makes the choice of to repair my bottom part my, my upper part and the moving part is going to be like off the bottom part you can do you can do it in reverse it's really not that big of a deal uh, and now when you want to create distances basically you know, objects will be you can even read the example with the description right here so objects will be created for any pair of centroids on opposite sides of its connection those distance falls between the specific lower and upper mounts so my my lower bound is actually the, the distance between the inner surfaces of those two plates, which is 45 millimeters. And my upper bound is the outer surfaces, which uh, is 55 millimeters. Now, I do want to keep the original part. I don't want to duplicate it. And simply click generate. So there we are. It generated all those parts that we want. Now, as you see, it actually it looks cool. Nice. I'm just so, uh, what we want to do is we want to add some supports. Now, I, in this case, um, one of the plate, the bottom plate, is, is not supposed to move. So, I'm adding a fixed support on its edge so that it's fixed from the sides in, in, in some way. And, and you want to add a force. I'm adding a force to a bottom plate, and force is actually defined not by a vector, but by, but by components. And since it's the axial force, I'm adding a z component of minus thousand. And I think I just did it on the opposite side. It's, yeah, it, it, you see, it's I just did it like separately. So in this case, I'll go with a thousand. So here, here we are. We have a force acting downwards towards the uh, in their part of the what is connection uh, for solution part I want to add a total deformation as well as a one misses stress and just in case I, I would like to add a force reaction now for force reaction I want to choose a boundary condition so I want to see a force reaction on my support and that is it and I'm pressing solve uh, it takes it takes a minute And it's all. I can see total deformation, which is extremely low, one uh, six thousand of a of a millimeter. Uh, we one misses stress, six point seven megapascals, and I see reaction force. Reaction force in my support uh, is actually you can even check the tabular data here, or if you look at the details of the force reaction, it's both ways. And as you can see here, it is actually a thousand newtons, so it's good. But uh, what, we wanted, what we wanted to do is we wanted to calculate or to analyze the uh, reaction forces for acting on each on each uh, beam. So there's a very simple way: you simply mark the beams in your connection. Window. and you drag them towards the solution and what it gives you, it gives you a probe with an option of choosing different results like axial force, torque, shear force or moment so I'm gonna mark them and in options just choose axial force after clicking solve I have obtained my results as you can see here, it's in Newtons. Uh, the negative sign means that they are compressed under compression. And what I want to do, since if I mark only one and then choose to uh, grab tabular data, 
it gives me one result for each row and I want to have all of them together so I want to create a chart as you can see here so you, you have to just simply insert a new chart or table and before I mean before you highlight all of them you press chart it creates a chart with all of these values in it as you can see here which can you later on export as an Excel file. You export it as Excel, you go find it, open it, as you see here, these are your values. You can even check if their sum is actually equal to 1000. As you can see here, actually, it, it is. Some slight, slight changes, no matter. So, but it's equal to 1000 newtons, which it's supposed to be. And that's it, basically. That's all you have to do.